hello again all my fluid art friends it's Doris at DF Designs I was in the middle of making boxes for these not boxes for well boxes for shipping but also boxes for storage because they're not sold yet and I wanted to show you how I do it this is one of my 8 inch um, um, okay I got a brain fart there this is one of my 8 inch stove burner covers that I did a design on this is a little bit bigger than the piece and this is foam board and I'm going to show you how I make a little tray for it which is good for storage but also good for um, just I don't know um, for shipping too so I am marking in from the edge I am marking in 5 eighths all the way around. This is going to be the outside, so it doesn't matter that the ink is on there because you're going to use that as a mark to score the lines. Then I'm going to show you how I tape it. Then I'm going to show you how I attach some parchment paper if your artwork is resin or if it's acrylic with resin on top parchment paper is the best bet to to have against your artwork okay i've made all my lines let me bring it up okay there we go there you can see it just five eighths of an inch because i figured five eighths would be deep enough for this but that's okay if it's not because it'll get when it gets to ship it'll get a lid okay now you want to be very careful because you're going to use an exacto knife let me turn this around because not that i've learned from experience not to cut on my brand new mat but <laughs> um if adriana molly or canella's watching this please don't yell at me okay Basically, you want to score by going just halfway through from edge to edge. You'll cut the corners out in a minute. Um, reason I like to score it is because that way I don't have to add sides to it. They're already attached, and when you score it like this, you'll see in a minute, you can uh, fold them in which I do before I start cutting the uh, corners okay and of course my scissors are away from the desk this is just an old pair of scissors I use okay where I scored made the score line let me see if it'll show it yeah there you go well what I do is is I bend it okay Sometimes you'll have to put it down and to get leverage on it, but that's that's okay. You don't want it to go all the way through. You want this paper right here. It's like a foam board with paper on both sides. I get mine from the Dollar Tree. Okay, once you've folded it, you can cut out these little squares because you're not going to be needing them anymore. Okay. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to tape it, but I'm going to show you what I do, because I use pretty strong tape. And I use pretty wide tape, too, so that way I can tape inside and outside at the corners. Okay. And you can fast forward through this part, if you want. Okay, now I've got my side. You can see my side, so I take... And let me take my glove off. Only reason I had the glove on is because you don't want to touch your resin piece with your hand without a glove on so you don't get oil on it. So you always want to make sure that even though it's dried and cured, if you're cleaning it or just making a package for it, um, okay, come on. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to take it off the right way. You just want to make sure that you have a glove on or gloves, depending on if you're going to touch it with both hands or not. 
to get keep your oil from your fingertips off of the resin piece okay I'm just basically pulling off a piece that's about maybe three four inches okay basically what I do is is I make sure it goes above and below and I stick it down and then I stick the other side down I go right here in the corner and just snip it there so I can fold these over and then this right here I don't snip it I just fold it in so it gives some more stability to the corner and feel free now that I showed you how to do one to fast forward it to the next part but I want to make sure for the people who need to see it that I do every part on camera okay now snip fold fold down fold in and then I smooth it out too aha I didn't get rid of this whole corner right here Because you need to you need to snip out those corner pieces, or your or these two edges won't fold up against each other. Okay. Short piece of tape. Stick it down so it sticks out above and below. Fold this in. Fold it down. Snip right here. Fold those in. Or under I should say and then you fold this one in and it's okay if it's a little loose right here it's not going to make a big difference because if you use this to ship um, I recommend putting a little cardboard box around it too which is just basically laying this down on some cardboard Marking, scoring the lines, folding it around, and then you've got not only this to protect it, but then you've got the cardboard. Okay, I folded it in, or folded it under, and then I did that. Now, you're not done yet. You don't want to put your resin piece against this, because you don't know how long it's going to stay there. So, there it is. Okay, what I do is, is I take the cheap parchment paper, but the more expensive parchment paper works too. Okay, what I do is, is I overlap it like this, making sure I've got some over here that's going to fold, and some over here, oh, you know what, let me get this over here a little bit better. Okay, see how it's past both sides? Okay, then what I do is, is the first thing I do is, is I... It doesn't have to be exact, okay? First thing I do is is I push it down in so I know where it's going to be at. So that way I can make sure, because you're going to glue this down, and I'll show you that in a second how you're going to glue it down. Now you just look for where you made the crease at, and you make the crease now harder, and you don't have, you can adjust it at this point too, don't worry about that, because I think I made it a little bit too small. Oh yes I did. So what you want to do is, is you want to put that crease right there, open this back up, smooth it out, mark mark a little crease where it's gonna where you need to fold it at, and then take it back out. Oh yeah, see the difference? See the difference of where I folded it at? Okay. You may think this is tedious, but this protects your resin pieces and your acrylic pores okay you put a lot of work into those pieces you want to make sure that it gets to the cut it gets to the customer perfect okay now I am just matching up the side 
with the edge and creasing it down. Okay, I'm going to grab my glue gun, which is over here. I can have it off the charger for a little bit. And do not laugh at my glue gun holder. <laughs> hey, whatever works, right? Okay, I got all the edges folded to where I know they're going to go. So then what all I do is, is I pick up the corner. You don't need to put a lot of glue down. And you just put some glue down, and now it's just gluing the paper inside the little tray you made. So it, okay, let me, let me see if you can really see this. Okay, let me bring it up so you can see it. And you just put it down. It's okay if a little bit comes up um, to the from un under the paper you're just you can also just put it over away from the edge farther and not use as much glue either if you want oops sorry okay and now you're gonna do this okay now you have got A little hard if you if you have a hard time opening it back up if you snip down in here to separate those two I'll show you in a minute let me snip out the other one just to get rid of some of the excess paper See, it now lays flat. Let me snip this one out so I can put the piece in there. Now, if you feel you've got too much um, excess paper around the edge, you can cut it off if you want. But I like having it there, and I'll tell you why. Because it then covers the sides of the piece. Okay, there we go. It's all folded flat. I'm only touching the bottom. Well, this has got to get clean and get another piece on it any or another layer on it anyway. Now, you can try to tuck it in, but not really a need to at this point. If you had a lid, which I, when I make the lids for these, I just lay this face down, mark on the outside edges, and then cut that out. Then I tape it right here with a hinge to make the lid. And then if you are making a lid, you could then fold this down like that. Anyway, so I hope that you have enjoyed this little video tip. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Um, the only other thing I will say is when you put your piece down... The, the resin piece you want to make the box for. You need to make your marks a little bit out. See, I'd already measured this before I started the video. Um, here, let me get a just a plain piece and show you. If you wanted to make a piece for this and you had the foam board there, you want to make it at least a half inch to an, three quarters of an inch bigger this way and this way than the actual piece. So you're making your line, you're making your line this about this far out, okay? And then and then you also want to then measure the side, and you want to make sure you got at least a quarter inch to a half inch taller. A quarter inch is fine if you're going to use it for a shipping box. Uh, let me just grab a piece of scrap. If I had made this into a lid and taped it, see? And if you want, I mean, it's up to you. Well, okay, I don't, 
I can't do it on this one because the piece is just a little bit higher. Um, if you had your side high enough to where it went past the top edge of this, you could always just kind of put your piece in like that. That's up to you. I prefer having it, having the edges of the lid rest on top of the sides. And seeing if I was going to make this into a lid, I would cut this off, cut this off right here, this right here, mark and cut this off right here. Without the piece in it, of course. You don't want to be doing that when you got your piece in there. And then basically, I would do some hinges right here. And then I would open it, which would put it like this, basically. Let me turn it so you can see it. And then I would also tape right here, too. But that's how to make the lid for it. So, any questions or comments, leave them down in the... Uh, description I do check I I mean in the comment section I'm sorry I do check those um, be very careful with all the tools that you're using this is a very sharp knife so but I'm only just lightly going through it so it's not like it's going to get stuck if you use a glue gun and excuse the fact this glue guns maybe two years old now and I use it a lot because I do uh, hair clips for people and I do a lot of gluing with this um, but th this is a hot glue gun I have uh, multi temp sticks in there and I also keep it on the high temp it just seems to work better for me I use a metal ruler because I don't want to have a plastic or a wooden one and end up shaving off some of the ruler while I'm cutting my line so um, thank y'all for watching. Oops, I forgot to look at the camera. I am so sorry about that, everybody. So, thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video about making a box for your resin and acrylic pieces. Um, I will do, when I get, when I get ready to do some, I will do a piece with, um, I will do a video, I'm sorry, showing you how to, how I make a cardboard box which is a lot quicker than this but you want to protect it okay so subscribe if you haven't yet give me a thumbs up if you liked it um, hit hit the little bell for the notification so you know when I'm gonna do another video um, because I do I do occasionally I do the tips and tricks one and I was in the middle of making boxes for all these pieces that I want to put into another box and this protects them you know um, they're not most some of them are sold most of them aren't okay so thank you for coming into my studio and watching my little tips and tricks video on making a box I love the resin right out of you guys and all I can say is bye for now